Our city. Oh, Emily, grow up. I'm such a child. <laughs> it's our city. And locked away at Isle of Wight Radio. I feel like you need to say that with like an, a different accent. Our city. Our, no, no, but it's spelled R city. Yeah. Our city. Yeah, but maybe just say our city and just pretend you're from somewhere north of Okay. Bit. All right. No? <laughs> It's 25 minutes to 8, it's Isle of Wight Radio, it's time for today's headline or hearsay. Uh, you can play along too at home on Facebook if you want to. Uh, you can help Emily and I out. It was a close run thing last week, but this is uh, this is kind of like the full on week where Jamie will be here. You're here all week. I am you? here all week, yeah. Yes, yeah, so this, is, this is the way it's going to be from now on, so... Here there's, we go. There's a lot at stake. I know. <laughs> Here we go for headline or hearsay for a Monday morning. Employees working in stores that repeatedly play Christmas music could be at risk of their mental health deteriorating, experts have warned. Songs of the season could encourage customers to make impulse purchases by prompting feelings of nostalgia and warmth, which retailers like. But staff who have to listen to the songs over and over again throughout their shifts have to tune out, say, a clinical psychologist. And music goes right to our emotions immediately and bypasses rationality, she said. You see, Headline or here, I, so. we were talking about this a little yeah. bit earlier on. I, th I think I'd just be like full of joy if Would I worked you? in a shop. Well, I've, I've done working in shops at Christmas. And to be honest, I preferred it when it was playing Christmas music to like the rest of the year when they send you one of those CDs that's like, all of the most popular hits at the moment, but not sung by the real artists. <laughs> no, because that costs more, oh, doesn't it? Oh, it's so annoying. So it's it's like lift music. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's like Mariah Carey and All I Want for Christmas, yeah. but, but sung by, you know. Just some random woman. <laughs> exactly. So, is it headline or hearsay? That is the question this morning. Uh, what do we think? Headline or hearsay, Emily? Keith says headline. I think he could be right because... It's that kind of year, it's the sort of story that might be in, in the papers. See, we have it a bit here, don't we? Obviously from December the 1st. Yes. You know, there's, we play the Christmas music. We play the, the Christmas hits. We do. Um, but not all the time. We do play normal music. Yeah, in the that's gym, a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ju Julie thinks it's headline. Jean says headline. I think it could be. Okay, we're going to go with headline, Jamie. That one is a headline. Yeah. Hey. I could see the little look. That doesn't mean your... it's true, though. To be honest, it would drive me completely. Oh, uh, no, I'm oh. well up for it. Yeah, you walk into a shop at the moment, it's playing Christmas music, and there's a little bit of me that just wants to leave. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. no, I just start throwing money around. I'll buy it all! <laughs> I've got no money! Oh, because I can hear shaking Stevens! I'm so Stevens. full of joy! <laughs> because I'm... Snow is falling, da, da, da. Yes, I need a USB glitter lamp. Yes! Of course I do! All of a sudden, now I feel like I need to spend money. <laughs> Police are investigating after three men were spotted throwing slices of pizza from a car. Several incidents have been reported in Reading over the last few weeks. Police say they're looking for the men believed to be travelling in a silver Volkswagen Golf. Officers are asking anyone with information to come forward about what's been dubbed as Pizzagate. Headline or hearsay? Mm. What a waste. Pizza. Oh, pizza? Pizza doesn't go off. You can have that in the morning. Breakfast, pizza. lunch and dinner. Yeah, absolutely. It's no, yeah, but pizza is one of those things, isn't it? I don't understand why people throw pizza away. Also, if you were going to throw something out of a car to annoy other people, pizza's not the most, of, you know, offensive. <laughs> like, if someone threw a pizza at me, what you might get throw, a bit like of like... Pineapples and <laughs> Well, something. no, you'd throw something like a bit wet, like an ice cream, you'd be covered in ice cream. A pizza would just sort of slap you, you know what? in the <laughs> face. And you're like, oh, I think if ooh, you got hit by a pepperoni, pepperoni. pizza. <laughs> yeah. It depends if it's frozen. Well, oh, yeah, 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 like a frisbee. Yeah. Mm, so, do we think it's headline or hearsay? Samantha thinks it's headline. Sally thinks it's headline as well. Julie says hearsay. She says they just wanted a piece of the action. Uh, See what she did there. Uh, Keith says here, say, I, I don't know about that. I think that's, I don't know. Really? This is an expensive way to annoy people as well. 
trying to have my poker face on at the moment. <laughs> Not working very well. I ordered like three, four pizzas the other day. Yeah. And it was like... Hungry, were you? No, for the whole family. <laughs> oh, okay. Just, checking. Just for lunch. <laughs> nice little gag there. Uh, and it was like 40 odd quid. Yeah, I'm like, cheap. hold on, we could go out for a meal for this. Yeah. Um, I think this is hearsay. Hearsay, Jamie. It is hearsay, correct. Oh. Oh. Can, can I just say, right, Hayley and I found that with Jamie, you have to kind of pretend and get it wrong occasionally, otherwise he gets really grumpy. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I know you're not. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Yorkshire Puddings have fought off competition from Cornish pasties and Bakewell tarts to be crowned the top regional dish in the UK. The humble Yorkies, made from flour, eggs and milk, beat off dishes from around the UK to come top in the poll for the Gourmet Society. The Lancashire Hot Pots, a staple in the Rovers' return in Coronation Street, and a traditional rival to the Yorkshire pudding, came in a lowly 10th spot. Headline or hearsay? Mm. Love the Yorkshire pudding. What have you just done to that? What? <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> If you watch, Paul's if you watch messing it. around with the new Facebook filters. <laughs> you two look lovely. I prefer it. Like if I, if you do this every day, I don't have to bother putting makeup yeah. on. Yeah, we, we should have filters every day now. I think. <laughs> I'm trying to think who Jamie reminds me of. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, back to the subject: headline or hearsay. Uh, Keith thinks it's headline. Uh, Mark Phillips says, nice faces. Uh, Jean thinks it's headline this morning. And uh, Christine... Jean says headline. So does Della. I've forgotten what the story was. I'm yeah. so distracted Yorkshire by the Facebook... <laughs> Yorkshire Pudding. Yeah, Yorkshire do you know Yorkshire I'm up puddings. there? Yeah, yes, I love a Yorkshire, Yorkshire Pudding. I Yorkshire to a Bakewell any day. Yeah, I had a go at making Yorkshire Puddings yesterday. You self-raising flour, Done apparently. That. You just end up with a cake, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you're not supposed to use plain flour. It was like, okay, well, they look all right, but it looks like a cupcake, to be fair. <laughs> and a kind of o oily cupcake. <laughs> uh, so are we going, what are we doing? Where, are, where am I? Headline. We're going headline. Yeah. Headline for the clean sweep. <sighs> that hasn't been a good Monday for me at all, has it? A clean sweep, it is headline. Oh. Hey. Tomorrow, headline or hearsay, will return. Thank you to everyone that's joined us on Facebook this morning with our friends at Classic Cottages. Uh, don't forget, you can uh, watch every day, 7.40, on Isle of Wight Radio's Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Isle of Wight Radio. News headlines and the latest travel with Emily, next after Prince. Oh, oh poor Jamie. Facebook, can I have some help, please, this week? Maybe we should maybe Throw we should do like a rival stream yeah. where people can help you or help us. Yeah, that's a good idea. That sounds very complicated. Yeah, very complicated. <laughs> yeah. We probably won't do no, that. No. But thank you so much for watching and we'll be back tomorrow at uh, seven forty. Wave wave Bye. wave Thanks, in a kind of children TV presenter way. Goodbye. That's very See good. See you tomorrow. Very good.